Good morning traders and potential traders, it's Nuke coming at you with another episode of Day Trading with Nuke. And many of you will notice I've been absent for a couple of weeks. That had a lot to do with a computer issue that went down and my wife retiring and I slowed the pace down and kept it to where this didn't become something that I don't want to do. So I took a little time for caring and nurturing so I don't get all pissed off and just walk away from this. So I eased back into it, got the computer right, got um, all of the cameras and peripherals set back up. Um, that's, that's a video I did a little bit about with Matrix there. And then just a couple of days after it bit me in the ass and that is testing your equipment at the beginning of the day so you know if everything's working or not and me personally I prefer not to push the envelope when it involves my money if anything is not working the way it should be I'd rather just take the day off and get it straight or take the week off take two weeks off hell I'm retired that's the whole point of being retired right you don't let it get underneath your skin you don't let it eat at you you don't let it push you into doing something stupid but all right with that said let's get into it we're going to start out by looking at the spy what i've seen out of the spy on friday was it was one hell of a wild ride we thought it had picked a uh chopped around a little bit and then i just picked this direction and just rocketed up then i rocketed back down then i rocketed back up again and then finally i rocketed down wasn't exactly the best day in terms of picking a direction, but it was a good day in moving some serious range. And it made a lot of people a lot of money because the action was relatively easy to read. That being said, what does it look like on the grander scale? Well, we've came up, we came back down. We consolidated here around the 200, and then a couple of weeks ago, um, there in, around Christmas time, we fell off really bad. And then in the January month, we climbed back up towards the 200 and stabilized. So even though we're, you know, still a good 20 points from where we was, 20, 23 points, something like that from where we was, we've had a nice recovery. Now the question is going to be what, where we're sitting at. Is the price action going to get above the 200 and hold, or is it going to break back below the 200 and squeeze below that 200 and these EMAs? So we'll have to see how that comes along. The SPY today, rel relatively choppy so far. So my goal is going to be to keep my head down, trade small, trade smart, don't get into anything that's going to be crazy. Um, what's this looking like for us? On the high side, um, the pre-market range is 270.50 and on the bottom side 269.90 which isn't incredibly high and we're going to be our important points of resistance so at the utmost extreme on the top side looking down I would be looking at 271.15 with another resistance point of 270.83 and then on the low side the extreme being 269.26 with the midpoint being 269.58. Logically, that's where I see it at. Of course, it can do what it wants and go anywhere outside of that. And if you followed around on this screen as I move it across, you'll see that the pre market or the actual high a day from Friday would have been here at the 271.20 and then the low of day all the way down here at the 269 so maybe it's gonna get another repeat maybe we'll have a little more consolidation or this might want to be one of the days it gets up and goes somewhere we'll have to see so be careful just look at those key levels and keep them uh, forward thinking in your mind so what am I looking at um, Microsoft had quite the bit of volume this morning so they had a good run and they consolidated but it's been staying over the 200 here so where are we at with that well Friday they had a pretty big sell-off then they came up and now they're selling back off again the the question you have to ask yourself when it comes to Microsoft with this right because they've got a lot of volume is what's going on and how far is this planning to go so to stay over the 200, it can't get much below this pre-market low. 
I mean, at worst, you'd be talking down here at the 102.30 range. And that's just to hold the low from Friday. But it could be a fake out and this thing gets up and, you know, comes back to slap up on these EMAs. So if it does that, you're looking at, on the high side, probably 10438-ish. Uh, next step 10409. Next step 10378. Next step 10350. Um, it's just going to depend on what the market tells us. Beyond that, um, I've looked at MU and Intel. Let's look at Intel first. Intel had a good day on Friday, a really good day. But on the whole, if you look at the daily chart, this thing has just been consolidating like crazy, right? Right up here around the 200 and all of the EMAs are sandwiched together. So this thing's ready to go somewhere. It's just had plenty enough time to rest. And what you notice is these candles have gotten from one relative size to a couple of uh, candles that are almost double the mean average. So what that means to me is this thing's ready to start getting big and going somewhere. We're in February, two months into the year. Um, the battle between the you know Intel and AMD, it, it's not going to go anywhere anytime soon. They're both good, solid companies. They're both leading our industry in chip manufacture. The question is, when, when do the stocks, the finances behind the companies, get off their ass and start actually applying capital to places? And we don't know. But we wait and we see, and it's going to happen eventually. Um, so I'm looking at my charts here, if you're wondering what, where I'm looking across at. Most everything is just kind of consolidating. Even Amazon, you know, it had some good stuff on Friday, but it was a very consolidated day. Um, so mostly the plan is going to be just sit, chill, take it slow, enter with minimal position, until something picks a direction and then hopefully we can ride the extremes so that's the plan get in and uh get in lightly let it you know don't let it stomp you first thing you got plenty of time you got plenty of ability to sit back and let it set up um, but right now the vibe i'm kind of get just from looking at things Let's let it see how it's going to choose what it wants to do um, coming out of the gate because I'm looking at just as many tickers that have kind of consolidated or slightly went down and a handful that went slightly up. So my money's on playing it safe, taking my time, and letting these things set up, let people's nerves get settled in before you really start throwing any size at anything. All right. Um, hmm. AMD, going to have my eyes on that. MU, Intel, oh, it's uh, INTC ticker. Microsoft, let's see. You know, definitely going to have your eyes on the FANG. But eh, of all the FANG, probably Facebook. Facebook is probably going to have more attention. That and NVIDIA. That's probably where Facebook nvidia maybe netflix uh, that's really where i'm going to be paying attention today all right guys that's what i got for you in under 10 minutes uh sorry i haven't been around for a couple of weeks but hopefully we'll be seeing more of you all right hit the like button hit the subscribe button leave some comments below thanks we'll see you later